Hey everyone, day two of Dark Visions number 13 and we'll be changing things up a little bit today. I'm gonna start with the physical domain of fire and water. Reason is quite simple, I actually prepared the team 20 minutes ago and I don't want to load up the magical team and then re-gear last gen etc. So this is where we are starting off today. Usual gear, non-elemental weapons on Elena and Mastermind Zorn, Lumina, Naked, doesn't matter. Um, based from last gen, as per usual, you need Drinks, Brush, um, and Call of the Wild, plus Advanced Weaponry, thus making sure, absolutely sure, that he can fill his LB on turn 1. Uh, shift form, full damage gear, uh, yeah, I went overboard with two Zeneda SDMRs, you don't need that, don't worry. The stage is, this is absolute overkill. Don't stress it out if you don't have these STMRs, you don't really need them. Uh, other than that, Beast Killer, the boss is a beast. So last chance at 300 LB, 300 Beast Killer. That's it, pretty much. And Requis Vision Card. If you don't have it, you can use Noctis Vision Card or one of the 100 Attack Vision Cards, it's fine. Luna Freya, only thing she actually needs is more than 8k HP, other than that nothing else matters. Her job is to buff or to imbue everyone with water. Uh, let's remove all from Locke so he doesn't kill the boss on accident. Uh, yeah, his only job is water and peril and breaks. That's all there is. Let's make sure these guys are still equipped. Yeah, press the correct button. Okay, let's go. I've learned my lesson from last month where Locke accidentally killed the boss, so. Okay, so let's have Locke uh, triple cast. Where it says water in peril, this one should be it. Oh no, he, the only thing he needs to do is for a sun, which is funny. So let's use for a sun. We go for a sand. Uh, let's have Luna Freya and build a team of water. So Covenant of the Hydrian, which is also a water in peril, but we've got a better one. But we only need a single action. Let's have Lumina double. Don't you think I'm cruel? And how long before you wake up on last gen? Last gen now shifts and uses his LB. Elena, Speed of Light, Blade of... Nope. Speed of Light, Blade of Dawn, AR, Double SR. And Mastermind is on, not Reflector. What's wrong with me today? And uh, AR, Double SR. This is SR Chain over here. Okay. Now we're gonna chain as per usual and cap this. So let's have the chain go. What to build. Send in last gen. Boom. And if you don't have some of these units, I will show you a few or give you a few alternatives at the end of the video. So don't stress it out too much. There we go. That was quick and easy. Let's catch this one out. And we will rinse repeat for the final stage, which is a tiger. But everything else remains the same. Okay, let's have Locke do his thing. Let's have Luna do her thing. Let's have Lumina do her thing. Let's have Last and Shift and LB. So if all of this to finish. Chain. Cap. Almost capped. Damage. 8.3 billion or something like that, but it's fine. We only need 2.14. If I had buffed beast uh, killers a little bit more, I could have probably dealt 9.99 billion, but alas, it was way more than enough. Four times as much as we needed. That was pretty simple. Now let me load up the uh, magical team and we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, second uh, round of 
enemies is Demon, week two, Wind and Dark. We are on a Wind team. And as you can see, nothing really changed too much. We still got Elena and Zorn over here. Uh, we got, what's her name? Lightning. For her stuff, she's gonna break. We will use uh, Bards to imbue the team with wind. Uh, Lumina, LB stuff. Let's make sure everyone has more than 8k. Yep. Okay. All good. And that's all about it. I, I think I need at least Bards' STMR for that. So let's equip his STMR for I I'm not sure whether I need his STMR or TMR equipped so he fills his LB on turn one. Let's just make sure that actually works. So let's dive right. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did a few seconds ago. Oh, 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 oh. Bart's Brave Shifts. And LBs. That's what we're gonna do first here. Yeah? Lightning. I'm not gonna bother filling a, a LB to get the 90%. in. we'd get 85 from all of this, so it's fine. Okay, there we go. For the first one, it's actually okay to use lightning. For the second one, we're probably gonna have to use Vaughn, but oh well. So AR, double SR. We're gonna need that 130 in peril to fire. Uh, AR, double SR, Lumina. Don't think I'm sure how long before you wake up. Terra limit, uh, Brave Shifts and Limits. And this should be fairly enough to kill the boss. So let's have Terra go. Three, two, one. And off we go. Yeah, the boss dies from these two all alone, almost. Yeah, we didn't cap. But I mean, that is to be expected though. With no fire in peril whatsoever, boss is not even weak to fire, so. But it's got the job done. Okay, and now instead of lightning, we will use Vaan because the next boss is a little bit more serious, as you might expect him to be. So let's use Vaan for the 113 peril. And if this doesn't work, I will just replace uh, Terra with uh, Ferris, and it is, it is going to work. All right, let's go. But I'm fairly sh certain that we will cap with at least 2.14 billion. Terra is just way too strong for this. So let's have a Bard's Brave Shift. And LB. Luminar LBs as well. Terra shifts in LBs. Barn LBs. Let's wait for this to finish. And let's send in the chainers. And let's see. 2.14 is what we're looking for. Was that 7 billion? I think it was. <clears throat> it, yeah, should have been 7 billion then. So. That was easy, wasn't it? And what a difference uh, Vaan makes, right? The 113 Feral. Phew. Okay. That was a very quick tour through Dark Visions, day two of uh, Dark Visions number 13, day two. And um, let me just make a quick cut and I will show you, not only tell you, but show you a few alternatives how this technically should work as well. So see you in a second. Okay, so let's look at alternative teams. Uh, I got two actually for um, the magic stage, wind to dark. So this is um, my first option that I want to show you a way that is also possible. And it's also a turn one clear. So if you don't have the old Alina, which 
some of you might not have actually, we got a good substitute for that, and that is Shadow. Shadow just works perfectly fine as is. Uh, you need his uh, Brave Shift unlocked though, because in his Brave Shift he can still cast AR double SR. So you can use Chaotic Shuriken, you can use Shadow Step Shuriken or Dancing Shuriken, that is all three of them are AR. And for SR he's got Mighty Shuriken, Tempering Shuriken and Diamond Shuriken. So works the same way as Elena. And the upside of things is you don't need Elena's TMR or Super Trust Master. You've seen me always use her Super Trust Master because her Trust Master is a two-handed weapon, if I'm not mistaken. So using Assassin Shadow might be a little bit easier. But granted, you need his EX plus one unlocked. Uh, we're still using Mastermind Zone. He's a seven-star unit. I feel like this is a fair assumption. And you can always UOC him if you don't have him. Uh, we're still using Van, but honestly... Um, if you don't have Van, you can obviously, when we're talking about um, substitutes, uh, where is this one? Uh, you can also use, oh, wrong game. I was 13, I was meant to check Final Fantasy X 2. You can use Riku Final Fantasy X 2. Now I don't have, her. I, I could technically get her seven star. Um, but I know for sure that she has a 85% break. I'm not, just not sure which one of her abilities it is. I believe that was... Or she doesn't have... Does she actually not have an 85% 80, break? I always assumed she had. But this should be fine too. YRP formation, 80% breaks should be fine, especially if you're using Ferris, that is. Um, she overkills this boss by quite a huge amount. All right. Um, I mean, you can always use Lock too. Doesn't really matter. Or uh, Savior of Souls Lightning. She works as well. You do have quite a few options. Bart, I'd say he's um, the best, the best one to have for this fight. Um, either to amplify Ferris's um, damage, but if you amplify Ferris's damage in his Brave Shift, forty-five percent. That is pretty sweet. You do need to equip both Assassin's Shadow and Mastermind Zone with wind weapons because you won't be able to use his wind imbue, obviously. Uh, Adele, she fills the role to fill LB gauge of Ferris, but you could use other units. You could, for example, use um, Shira. Yeah, Shira, the Three or four star unit, you'd give her for autofill at the start of the battle, Dragon's Brush, for example, and immediately fill Ferris's LB gauge on turn one. That one works too. And I believe the same applies to Fina. Was it the story Fina of Story Lit? One of them has um, Entrust as well. Or you use, you're gonna use Galoof. Galoof works too. Or does he? No, I don't think he does. So you're just going to use a unit that you know you can for sure fill LB gauge on turn one and you're good to go. Another option for this team, it's in a dark stage. Oops, I was one too far. Is this team. And I'm not quite sure whether this is going to be enough to cap the boss. Um, let's remove uh, Cyrus from this. But if you have Behemi... Behemi buffs Demon Killer. The boss is a demon, so if you have Behemi, you can swap him, up, swap it in to this team, and you'd be good to go. Now keep in mind, you are missing on strong breaks. So if I were you, I would probably remove Umbral Dragon Dark Fina from this equation, and if you have Lightning, obviously use Lightning. Um, but Van works too. And the way this works is you're probably gonna do the uh, Strong Imperil from Delta Circura. You'd have Ibarra Cap this one. It should be a close call for 2.14 billion, but it should be doable with this team. Just keep in mind, use Behemi in this third slot for the 150 killers, and you're good to go. All right, I'm gonna make uh, one more quick cut and show you an alternative to the... Um, Physical team. Okay, and this is uh, a, an example physical team that you can use. Tifa should actually get the job done on this boss. She still hits pretty hard for these older uh, or 
all the units and the best thing about it is that she's super easy to gear right and it's just more of the same her lb shouldn't be that costly if i'm not mistaken let's um check it out real quick yeah it's a 20 lb cost so lumina immediately fills the lb and you don't even need lb gear so all you need to do is actually you could actually even start in a brave shift get that one for lb damage beast killer etc you should be pretty good to go right and if she is not enough well, I guess you could go to turn two, have um, Luna Freya do a little bit of buffing, have Mastermind Zone cover his stuff. Uh, you, you're going to need Ice and Lightning resistance, but this should be the, the, the least of your troubles. But I'm fairly certain this is an easy turn one clear, even with Tifa. And if it's not, like I said, you can use uh, anyone instead of Lumina if you're gonna do it with another Kappa and don't have last gen. You can use, let's say, Axt and Cleome, they work well. Uh, let's check for Neo Vision units. Now we don't have any Final Fantasy X2 units. So. I mean, obviously, Noctis always works, Sora always works, although Sora is a huge pain to use, honestly. Um, Cleo Star works, like I said, Reek works. Uh, Rain and Fina also work, even though they are a LB trainer, but it's still good. Um, yeah. Cloud, I mean, Cloud also works. So, you shouldn't have too much trouble killing this boss and capping, especially if Tifa. Tifa should be more than enough. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see each other on Monday again for the final stages. Just a quick um, note on uh, on in this regard for Monday. I do have to work on Monday, so I'll be a little bit late at home, probably around 3 p.m. CEST, which is five hours after Dark Visions started on Monday. But I can already show you my win team that is the physical team that we're going to look at the boss on Monday, if I'm not mistaken, is a plant boss. It's Dark Marlboro, exactly. So technically speaking, this team should cap it. Uh, the builder tells otherwise, but yeah, this is the team I'm using. I actually off-bannered Mazurka from a ticket I used. Um, so cool, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna use her, uh, you don't need Mazurka, but this team should fairly easily cap this fight, even though I only have EX plus 2 Noctis. Uh, but Noctis on his own does already 5 billion if he's at EX plus 3. I get his EX plus 3 on Thursday though. But still, should be an easy cap, especially with 90% uh, defense break and all that, all the goodies. Yeah, uh, I haven't done the final boss team yet and the magic magical team yet, but the magical team, it's probably going to be Melo, Laswell, uh, Ferris, Terra, and uh, Lightning. And the fifth slot, I'm not quite sure yet. Probably Bards, to be honest, for Ferris. Okay, That's, that concludes today's video. I hope I was, I hope this was helpful to you. And... Best of luck to your attempts. See you Monday. Bye-bye.